We push the use of cover to all our students. Brick walls and dirt will stop a bullet better than a plate, right? Plates limited in size. Many of the competitions that I've been in and, and watched um, have the shooter exposed to multiple targets during the course of fire, right? They're out there just go running and gunning. That's okay for the game, but if you overexpose yourself to multiple opponents in real life, they can all shoot at you at the same time. But you can effectively focus on only one individual at a time. What's the result? You lose, right? So learn to engage and learn to expose yourself, train to expose yourself to one threat at a time. You know, and to take that a little bit further, maximize the use of cover and minimize your exposure, right? Make the bad guy give you a full body shot to engage while you only give him a muzzle and an eyeball. That's all, that's all the dude needs to see is a muzzle and an eyeball from you. Make yourself a hard target. That's what it amounts to. Most of the friendly casualties that, that I saw were shot when they failed to use cover or they stopped in the open and stopped moving. Right? That's, that's how you, you're going to get shot like that, no, no doubt. But this is also, flip the coin, this is also how I engaged most of the enemy that I know that I got solid hits on. They were stopped in the open or, they were in, or, or I was engaging movers from a stationary position myself within 100 yards. And at 100 yards, they generally require a center hold for a solid hit. Uh, you don't have to lead too much at 100 yards with 5.56. Five, five, but referencing shooting on the move, it's a, it's a skill that all shooters want to learn. We all want to know, how do I shoot on the move? And we, <clears throat> we spend a, a lot of time and a lot of effort trying to master that. I've used it very few times in a fight. I, but usually, when, when I'm moving at a careful, careful hurry, I'll stop, I'll plant, and make my shot, right? Not run, bam, shooting on the run and all that. Um, it's doable, and I've done it, but it's not the preferred way to do it because you can't, I mean, your hits are not guaranteed. But when the bullets are sailing past you, I was sprinting from cover to cover, moving too fast to shoot, you know? I didn't find that there was an in-between. Uh, if I slowed down enough to make a good solid hit under fire, I was an easy target, so I just elected, I'm not going to do that, all right? I'm going to skip that. As for shooting and closing on my target, right? It sounds good. Uh, it writes good for magazine writers and movies and stuff, but it only makes the bad guys more accurate because you're walking into a muzzle that, you know, it may help me test my new plate carrier sooner than I wanted to, and I don't necessarily want to do that. Diagonal movement works. He's here, and I'm moving to the side as I'm doing my business. But again, if you have to slow down too much, you're an easy target, and generally, and are generally going to be in the open. So speed is your security in this case. You've got to get to a point of cover, right? Cover to cover, shoot from from cover.